continuing from my last video where we saw we drew we drew the graph of y is equal to one point y is equal to uh, I have to get this y is equal to one point five divided by x is what we got. This was a graph of y is equal to one point five divided by x. Okay. Now yeah to graph this let us first think of the vertical asymptote. If you remember uh, my last video, I told you vertical asymptote is when is your function or when is your relationship not defined. So I look at the denominator and I'm going to think when would this become zero? Because in maths, if you know, the denominator can never be zero. Okay, so we'll start like this. We'll decide the vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote you get by answering the question where would the function be not defined okay so the function is not defined when the denominator is zero so but just as by looking at the denominator I can say t should not be equal to 1 because if t is negative 1 sorry when t is negative 1 let me write that. If t is equal to negative 1, I hope you understand t plus 1 would become 0. Okay. So this is not allowed. Okay. So this implies t is equal to negative 1 is your vertical asymptote. Now your t, you got r and t instead of y and x. So, so yeah, you can understand your R as Y and your T as uh, T as X. So your vertical asymptote is when T is equal to negative one. So how will you draw that? Now let me change this to this is my R and this is my T. Okay. So this is a function between the function between R and T. Okay, R is defined as a function of T. So your vertical asymptote is when the value of T is negative 1. So this T, when the value of T is negative 1, the function is not defined. So my baby is being naughty now. So ignore his crying. So let me draw the vertical asymptote. So this is my vertical asymptote. Okay. So I'll drag it up and highlight it and uh, so this is this line I can say is t this line is t is equal to negative 1 the function can is not defined for any value of oh sorry this is wrong so let me go back this t is negative 1 is yeah okay this was t was 1 always good to check okay so let me scroll down so t is negative 1 is yeah the function is not defined when t is negative 1 so let me highlight and this is t is equal to negative 1 so this line i can name this line as T is equal to negative 1. Okay, so your function is not defined then. So let us go back. Okay, so vertical asymptote is T is equal to negative 1. Now we need to decide the horizontal asymptote. Let me take green now. Okay, so the horizontal asymptote. So what do you do, what do you know about horizontal asymptote? If you have seen my previous videos, I've told you, you have to think what happens to the function when t asymptote. Okay, so I'm going to think what would happen when t is approaching positive infinity. T is approaching positive infinity. When I say positive infinity, don't be scared. This only tells me what what is happening to r 
20 is becoming a huge number that means say t becomes say 10 million or 200 million so use your logic when t approaches a huge number this denominator this one doesn't play any role okay one becomes insignificant so this is 6 divided by a huge number so if you imagine if you can visualize 6 divided by a huge number r would approach 0 this implies r would approach 0 okay in the same way this is approach 0 from you can say from above okay this will not be 0 this will be more than 6 divided by huge number would be 0 plus something okay that something is almost 0 so r is approaching 0 from above and what will happen when t approaches infinity from or negative infinity okay negative infinity means it become a huge negative number so the same thing it will approach 0 from below okay so this implies r is approaching 0 from below so what does this mean what's your horizontal asymptote horizontal asymptote is this that is this implies therefore r is equal to 0 is the horizontal asymptote this are very important decisions that you need to make when you're drawing the graph of hyperbola so let me graph it so this line uh, so this line this line is t and that line in terms of an equation that line can also be called as r is equal to zero use your logic again for any point your r value this is your r axis your r axis hits zero at your uh, t axis okay so or your x axis so this line which is t or your x axis is nothing but r is equal to zero so let me draw this the dotted line so let's start from here so this is your so this is your horizontal asymptote and this is your vertical asymptote now we need to get uh, plot some need points so here let me go back so let us take some need points okay so let me take a different color blue would do so let me take x let me make a column of x and not x we have r so let me write r and t okay, r as a function of t is 6 divided by t plus 1 okay so let us take some neat numbers uh, sorry this is r r is a function of t is 6 divided by t plus 1 so what happens let us take the positive numbers when x is 0 6 divided by 0 plus 1 so this is 6 when x is say 1 sorry when r is this is your t sorry uh, my brain is not working properly today so this is my t and this is my r okay r as a function of t so when t is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 6 divided by 1 is 6 when t is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 when t is 2 6 divided by 3 is 2 okay when t is uh, can I take 3 3 plus 3 that will not give me a neat number if I take say 5 if I take 5 5 plus 1 6 so that's 1 I think these points are enough so you got 0 6 0 6 1 3 okay so let me plot it so when x is 0 y is 6 okay uh, when x is uh, where are we No, yep, this is where we were. So when x is 1, y is 3. When x is 1, y is 3. 
Okay, when x is 2, let me go back, when x is 2, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 2. And when x is 5, y is 1. I think these points are enough. And when x is approaching infinity, uh, I'm saying x, uh, I mean t. So I'll say when t is approaching infinity, r would approach 0. Okay. Now what would happen when t is approaching approaching negative 1? Okay. When t is approaching negative 1, when t is approaching negative 1 from the right, okay, uh, r would approach infinity. So your graph would look like this. I will show you uh, on the calculator. So the graph, the sketch of the, let me use a different color. Let me use red. So the graph would look like this, joining the points as it is, just approaching the x-axis or the t-axis here. Yeah. So when t is approaching negative 1 from the right, r would approach infinity. I will show you this on the calculator in the next video. Thank you very much.